like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the old waste transfer station property on Poplar Street is being transformed into a community space full of art, life, and nature. Luis Liu visited the abandoned site and brings us a look at its rebirth. What do you see here? A desolate piece of land along busy Mugart Highway? Well, there are plans to make it the next go-to place for Somerville residents. The 2.2-acre site at 10 Poplar Street in East Somerville will become the home of Somerville Art Farm for Social Innovation, a self-sustaining creative commons. It will incorporate green technology, entrepreneurship, art, urban agriculture, and community building events. So the idea of farm meaning, you know, nurturing and growing, we look at it as the overall site should hopefully incubate other sort of you know, socially active or progressive things that maybe we can help nurture that. Gregory Jenkins is the director of the Somerville Arts Council, which has been instrumental in building the vision of Art Farm. Last Wednesday, the community was invited to a public meeting where schematic drawings of the site were presented and the public was updated on the planning process. And I think that sort of ambition is very impressive. I think a multifunction space like they're proposing is actually um, something that could be very useful to the community. Current designs include 65,000 square feet of open space and 32,000 square feet of varied art space. Nine primary elements are planned, including a grand portal, gallery and cafe, pop-up shops, creative activity space, outdoor performance space, artist studios, growing space, youth space, and recreational lawn and track. We look at it as a way in which maybe it could be, you know, hopefully a model for other types of, you know, redevelopment. So. This is where Art Farm will come to life. For years, a waste transfer station stood here, bringing rodent and odor problems with it. The city was determined to tear it down. On a cold winter day two years ago, the demolition began right behind me. I want to welcome you all to what will form, be the former site of the incinerator and transfer station in about 24 hours as we begin taking a wrecking ball to this um, somewhat of an iconic relic of our urban past. The transfer station was built on city-owned land. Somerville received a small financial benefit from having the station in the city, but the cost to residents' quality of life was too high. The Board of Aldermen and Mayor's Office negotiated a new contract that sent trash out of the city. It cost the city a little more money, but not as much as we thought. But the benefit that we get by being able to take the building down and open up a whole new neighborhood there was priceless. Ward 2 Alderman Mary Young Houston is a lifelong Somerville resident. She has a clear memory of living with the station. Certain days it smells. They would have like fake owls on their roofs to try and keep the seagulls away. You know, all of these things that were impacting the communities. Houston attended the demolition two years ago and supported the mayor's commitment to letting the community determine what would be built on the site. What people wanted to do was to create a space that would be welcoming, that would um, involve the arts but involve some other unique uses that would pull people into the area? Well, it's not necessarily a destination area, but what we hope is that, you know, if we can create this facility where people want to come to it, and then that energy will help, you know, rejuvenate that area. Pulling people into the area and rejuvenating the area are top priorities. Residents of East Somerville and the Brick Bottom community often feel isolated from the rest of the city. I would like to make sure that whatever is put here has outreach to all parts of the city. I feel like some of the effort, some of the artistic efforts that happened in the city over the past few years, like Somerville Open Studios and Porch Fest, when you look at who's participating in them, there's a big gap. The whole, the whole neighborhood of East Somerville seems to be unrepresented, and I'd like to not have that repeated here because this site is next to East Somerville. Current construction along the McGrath Highway will open up the corridor between the two sides of the thoroughfare. Mass DOT is, is going through um, changing some of the traffic patterns along McGrath Highway and along Medford Street. And one of the things they're doing is making it easier to cross from this side 
underneath that overpass to the other side. The creation of art farm and new corridors connecting East Somerville to the rest of the city are giving a new sense of vibrancy. To the people who have lived here a long time and have lived with the transfer station and when the wind's blowing a certain way, you know there's a transfer station there. I think what it means is it's a sign of, I think, a very positive change. I think for people who are newcomers here, I think it's, it's a sign that, you know, the city is open to new ideas and new opportunities. But having grown up here and, you know, not having that waste transfer station there for so many years and seeing it come down just on a personal level is like one of those things that you thought you would never see, you know, but then you end up seeing it and you're saying, oh, I'm getting to see this. In my lifetime, I'm getting to see this happen, you know, and it's a big deal. The Arts Council is currently putting construction design documents out to bid. For more information on the project, visit SomervilleArtsCouncil.org and search for Art Farm. Mm -hmm.